take crime very seriously. We have people out here that are looking to prevent it. We have the police out here that are looking to catch them after they do it, if we can't catch them in the act. Now at 9, the city of Walnut Creek promising to protect business owners from rising retail crime. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for being with us tonight on Crown 4 News at 9. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Vicki Liviakis. Walnut Creek has seen an 18% increase in retail crime in uh, 2023. Tonight, Walnut Creek Police, they held a meeting with downtown business owners to at least start a conversation about retail crime. Trying to sort it out, Crown 4's Med Harry was at that meeting and explains how they're trying to prevent it from happening and what is next. Walnut Creek police say they knew they wanted to hold this meeting with business owners after there was an uptick in commercial burglaries in July. There was a pattern in those cases and a suspect was apprehended. But in August, they continued to see more burglaries. Walnut Creek is doing well. We our downtown community is thriving and we are going to attract unfortunately people that are looking to not do good here. Walnut Creek police and local leaders speaking directly and candidly with downtown business owners. They say while residential and auto burglaries are down, commercial burglaries and shoplifting are increasing. Russell Halston, the loss prevention manager at the Walnut Creek Ace Hardware, says he thinks the statistics are skewed. Retail uh, crime, the, the uh, statistics are not anywhere near what's really going on. But if you don't call the police, they don't have a statistic. And we've pretty much stopped calling the police unless we have really actionable intelligence. In fact, he says they're shoplifting at his store every day. In a few cases where we've been lucky, like we can see that they used a rewards card or somehow we know what their name is, we reach out and we can reach out to them. We do. And we bill them for the thing they stole. And 100% of the time, they've paid and then they didn't come back. That's the most important part. Tellus Coffee on North Main Street was burglarized earlier this month. Its owner told us that thieves got away with $450 in cash. The coffee shop has since gone cashless. Police say that while they're working on preventing these crimes, it is important that businesses don't make themselves an easy target. A business owner, it's important to do what you can to protect your business and do that by making sure they have uh, good hiring practices and then having good security measures in place. Police suggest things like having an alarm system, limiting the quantity of cash on hand, and having having surveillance video. Police have also increased patrols in the downtown area. Some business owners were concerned about the reopening of Broadway Plaza to traffic. City Council member Kevin Wilk, who was mayor when the organized retail theft happened at Nordstrom, says it was time. Now, though, it is a public street. There are public access ways that have to happen there. Uh, we, we do want to see people being able to park more conveniently, especially when it comes to seniors or people that are disabled. And this is really important. So we'll keep an eye on this. Wilk says they're working with Broadway Plaza to monitor the situation. He says during large scale events, Broadway Plaza will likely be shut down to traffic to help prevent crime and keep everyone safe. In downtown Walnut Creek, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.